In this work, Meta develop an open access to Llama 2, a family of pre-trained and fine-tuned LLMs, Llama 2 and Llama 2 Chat. It scales up to 70 billion parameters. The following models are released to the general public for research and commercial use. Llama 2, an updated version of Llama 1, and Llama 2 Chat, a fine-tuned version of Llama 2 that is optimized for dialogue use cases. The training corpus includes a new mix of data from publicly available sources, which does not include data from Meta's products or services, making an effort to remove data from certain sites known to contain a high volume of personal information. They trained on 2 trillion tokens of data, as this provides a good performance cost trade-off, upsampling the most factual sources in an effort to increase knowledge and dampen hallucinations. They use the standard transformer architecture, apply pre-normalization using RMS norm, and use the SWE glue activation function and rotary positional embeddings. The primary architectural differences from Llama 1 include increased context length and grouped query attention. They use the same tokenizer as Llama 1. It employs a byte pair encoding algorithm using the implementation from sentence piece. They report the results for Llama 1 and Llama 2 base models, Mosaic ML's pre-trained transformer models, and Falcon models on standard academic benchmarks. For all the evaluations, their eternal evaluations library was used, always picking the best score between their evaluation framework and any publicly reported results. In addition to open source models, we also compare Llama 2 70 billion results to closed source models. Llama 2 70 billion results are on par or better than Palm 540 billion on almost all benchmarks. However, there's still a large gap in performance between Llama 2 70 billion and GPT-4 and Palm 2L. Llama 2 Chat is the result of several months of research and iterative applications of alignment techniques, including both instruction tuning and RLHF, requiring significant compositional and annotation resources. They report on their experiments and findings using supervised fine tuning, as well as initial and iterative reward modeling and RLHF. Additionally, sharing a new technique, ghost attention or GAT, which helps control dialogue flow over multiple turns. First focusing on collecting several thousand examples of high quality supervised fine tuning data. By setting aside millions of examples from third party data sets and using fewer but high quality examples from their own vendor based annotation efforts, the result notably improved. They found that supervised fine tuning annotations in the order of tens of thousands was enough to achieve a high quality result. They stopped annotating supervised fine tuning after collecting a total of 27,540 annotations. RLHF is applied to the fine-tuned language model to further align model behavior with human preferences and instruction following. Collecting human preference data for rewarding, they chose a binary comparison protocol over other schemes, mainly because it enables them to maximize the diversity of collected prompts. The annotation procedure proceeds as follows. They ask annotators to first write a prompt, then choose between two sampled model responses based on provided criteria. In order to maximize the diversity, the two responses to a given prompt are sampled from two different model variants and varying the temperature hyperparameter. In addition to giving participants a forced choice, the authors also ask annotators to label the degree to which they prefer their chosen response over the alternative. Either their choice is significantly better, slightly better, or negligibly better slash unsure. For the collection of preference annotations, they focus on helpfulness and safety. Human annotations were collected in batches on a weekly basis. As they collected more preference data, their reward models improved and were able to train progressively better versions for Llama 2 chat. Others have found that helpfulness and safety sometimes trade off, which can make it challenging for a single reward model to perform well on both. To address this, they train two separate reward models, one optimized for helpfulness and another for safety. 
They combine their newly collected data with existing open source preference datasets to form a larger training dataset. They train for one epoch over the training data. In early experiments, they found that training longer can lead to overfitting. As they received more batches of human performance data annotation, we were able to train better reward models and collect more prompts. They therefore trained successive versions for RLHF models, referred to here as RLHF v1 all the way up to RLHF v5. They explored RLHF fine tuning with two main algorithms, proximal policy optimization and rejection sampling fine tuning. On each batch of human preference annotation for reward modeling, a thousand examples were held out as a test set to evaluate the models. They perform rejection sampling only with their largest 70 billion LAMA2 chat. All smaller models are fine-tuned on rejection sample data from the larger model, thus distilling the large model capabilities into the smaller ones. They further train the language model following the RL scheme, which uses the reward model as an estimate for the true reward function, and the pre-trained language model as the policy to optimize. As was observed in other works, they find this constraint is useful for training stability and to reduce reward hacking, whereby it would achieve high scores from the reward model but low scores from human evaluation. We train for between 200 and 400 iterations for all models and use evaluations on held out prompts for early stopping. Each iteration of PPO on the 70 billion model takes an average 330 seconds. To train quickly with large batch sizes, we use FSDP. So the authors propose ghost attention, a very simple method inspired by context distillation that hacks the fine tuning data to help the attention focus in a multi-stage progress. Ghost attention enables dialogue control over multiple turns. Assume we have access to a multi-turn dialogue dataset between two persons a user and assistant, with a list of messages U sub 1, A sub 1, all the way in a series creating U sub N and A sub N, where U sub N and A sub N correspond to the user and assistant messages for turn N. Then we define instruct or inst that should be respected throughout the dialogue. For example, inst could be act as. We can then synthetically concatenate this instruction to all the user messages of the conversation. We apply ghost attention after reinforcement learning from human feedback v3. We report a quantitative analysis indicating that ghost attention is consistent up to 20 plus turns until the maximum context length is reached. Human evaluation is often considered the gold standard for judging models for language learning, including dialogue models. To evaluate the quality of major model versions, the authors asked human evaluators to rate them on helpfulness and safety. Comparing the Llama 2 chat models to open source models, Falcon, MPT, etc., on over 4,000 single and multi turn prompts. Llama 2 chat models outperform open source models by a significant margin on both single turn and multi turn prompts. The largest Llama 2 chat model is competitive with chat GPT. Llama 2 chat 70B model has a win rate of 36% and a tie rate of 31.5% relative to chat GPT. It is important to note that human evaluations have several limitations, such as lack of prompt diversity and not covering real-world usage of these models. Llama 2 does not outperform other models on toxicity metrics, and they speculate that this may be because they refrain from aggressively filtering the pre-training data. Recall that leaving pre-training data unfiltered may enable base models tuned to perform well on more downstreamed tasks, including hate speech detection, and it carries less risk of accidentally filtering out some demographic groups. We observe that models trained from less aggressively filtered pre-training data also required fewer 
examples to achieve reasonable safety alignment. Benchmarks give a summary view of model capabilities and behaviors that allow us to understand general patterns in the model, but they do not provide a fully comprehensive view of the impact the model may have on people or real world outcomes. That would require study of end-to-end -end product deployments. They initialize by gathering adversarial prompts and safety demonstrations that are then included in the general supervised fine-tuning process. Subsequently, they integrate safety in the general reinforcement learning human feedback pipeline. This includes training a safety-specific reward model and gathering more challenging adversarial prompts for rejection sampling style fine-tuning and PPO optimization. Finally, they refine their reinforcement learning human feedback pipeline with context distillation. They observed early in the development of Llama 2 Chat that it is able to generalize from the safe demonstrations in supervised fine-tuning. The model quickly learns to write detailed safe responses, addresses safety concerns, explain why the topic might be sensitive, and provide additional helpful information. In particular, when the model outputs safe responses, they are more detailed than what the average annotator writes. Using the mean reward model scores as proxies of model performance on safety and helpfulness, it's observed that when the proportion of safety data is increased, the model's performance on handling risky and adversarial prompts improves drastically and see a lighter tail in the safety reward model score distribution. Meanwhile, the mean helpfulness score remains constant. They hypothesize that this is because they already have a sufficient large amount of helpfulness training data. Even though we do not see overall regression on model helpfulness, we qualitatively observe through interaction that the model with more safety mitigation answers certain questions in more conservative manner. However, false refusal is overall rare, approximately 0.05% on the helpfulness dataset, even with 100% safety data. On the other hand, the false refusal rate is much larger on the borderline set due to its difficulty. Llama 2 chat sometimes has difficulty distinguishing whether a prompt is safe when the prompt contains words that frequently occur in unsafe generations. Truthfulness, toxicity, and bias. In table 14, fine-tuned Llama 2 chat shows great improvement over the pre-trained Llama 2 in terms of truthfulness and toxicity. The percentage of toxic generation shrinks to effectively 0% for Llama 2 chat of all sizes. This is the lowest toxicity level among all compared models. In general, when compared to Falcon and MPT, after fine tuning, Llama 2 chat tends to have an increase in positive sentiment overall for many of the demographics in bold.